guys and welcome back to the second part of this, this tutorial um, as you can see I've not done anything since the last time because I want to show everything to you guys so um, right now we're gonna do the, the mouth and then we're gonna pretty much finish the face um, hopefully so as you can see this is the face as it is right now so let's move on to the mouth um, you can do this in several ways. You can first, well, you can make a different mesh, different plane, and start moving the, that one around and extruding it to make the mouth itself. That's fine. It works. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna do this slightly different. I'm gonna use this mesh as it is right now, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna take an edge loop here. And I'm gonna, gonna delete these faces here, so we just have some just an empty or just a single f uh, plane here, so we can ex start extruding that one. Um, let's do it like this first again the very basic shape of it and now this part is a little bit tricky or well, not necessarily tricky um, but there are a couple of things here that you can do wrong that's the most important thing and I'll show you what uh, I've got some examples here I've got an a example of a mouth that uh, that is not done correctly so for example let me take this one you can see how bad the mouth deforms the way it is um, this is due that it's bad topology because this looks awful um, as you can see it, it doesn't actually mimic the face or the muscles in the face and you can see this part here looks really 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 nasty I've got a good example as well though this one here you see the difference here this one actually looks good now the, the, the key difference between this one and this one is that the mouth opening here is tied to one single edge and the one here has two edges there so you actually have a quad there that uh, separates the upper lip and the lower lip which is actually really important uh, I'll, sh I'll show you why what happens if you don't so first I'm gonna grab this vertex here I'm, I'm gonna extrude this edge here and I'll show you what happens now this, lo this looks pretty okay as it is right now right it doesn't look really bad or anything but what happens is when the mouth opens for example, the upper, the say for example, you're yawning, right? And this happens, then both parts actually move with the mouth. So you really want to avoid that. You don't want that because that looks really nasty. Um, so what you want to kind of want to have is have a quad in here, so a simple uh, face in between that serves serves more like like a buffer between the upper lip and lower lip. So when you now move the upper lip, nothing happens. The lower lip stays intact which is exactly what you kind of want to have otherwise it will look really creepy um, so make sure that if you model a mouth that you have this part here so a, a quad or a, a square at the uh, corners of the, of the mouth it, it, you will thank me later on when you, when you actually start opening and closing the mouth you will see a difference massively so keep in mind always a quad okay so let's move on in shaping the actual mouth itself so I'm going to add a couple of more edge loops here, this one here and one here. Uh, this one is actually really important because this one you can actually create the famous um, lip shape. Let me put it that way. And this one is used just to give it a bit more volume, like there. Um, the shape itself from the actual picture, I really don't like it. I think it's really boring, so I, I might, might change it here on the spot to a little bit more superhero-ish like. So let's first make sure everything is, is aligned properly so let's move it to the right here so let's make sure everything is where it should be so this part should be here and then this face here should be a little bit forward like so let's do it all the way see it's here this way and this one a little bit back okay so a couple of things to keep in mind that the upper lip is always sticking out a bit more than the lower lip so it's always extrude or sticking out of it over it something like this for example so the the upper lip is always further out than the lower lip so it's something to keep in mind and this part should be in something like this and this part I'm gonna move them both back in because we're gonna add a edge loop here in the middle that will give it a bit more volume so it will look fine and secondly I'm gonna move this one slightly inside a bit even more inside so you get this nice corner mouth corner I see right here okay so this looking pretty solid so let's add one more edge loop right in the middle which is just there just for volume and nothing more so I'm gonna grab these ones and I'm just gonna move them to the side maybe a little this one a little bit more back this one also a little bit more 
So it has a little bit more volume, so it looks a little bit better. Same one for this though. So don't forget about this one. Even though it's it's tiny, it will make a difference in the actual shape of, of the mouth. Like I said, I really don't like the, the shape of the mouth from the actual character itself, of, of the man himself. I don't like it. I want to be a bit more superhero-ish like, so I'm going to change a lot of stuff here. First, I'm going to lower this one even more, this one even higher. So what I might want to do though is insert this up here, and I'm just going to grab this point here. I'm going to grab it all the way down, so you got this really grumpy-like character. Something like this, maybe. And one more here. Which you can use uh, for the for the shape definition, so you can load this one a little bit. They have this nice curve in there, which you see a lot in in well, on both. A little bit more even. Also, let's lower these ones a little bit further, just for the shape. Okay. Let's make this mouth a little bit bigger, actually. Let's lower this one. There you go. That looks a bit better. Maybe what you can do is like lower these all together. Something like this. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's move it all, the way all up a little bit. I like that more. That looks a bit more dangerous. Okay. Easy pieces so far. Nothing really fancy. Just gonna lower this one a little bit so we, we got a, a bit more wiggle room around here. Still is good. Let's make sure that the upper lip is still sticking out. It is a little bit more, something like this. Yep. So far, so good. Maybe we can grab these points here and put them a little bit more inward, something like this. But it's just something we we'll have to see when the uh, mouth is actually attached to the actual character. Because right now it's a bit of a guessing game. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my edges here. I'm going to make a giant edge loop. So I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to pull it all the way up to roughly the center of this gap in, in between the mouth and the, and the nose. Roughly the center. I'm going to make sure that they follow the edge flow. This one here. I'm do the same thing here. Again, I'm going to extrude it. Now this one should it doesn't have to go that far, but something like this maybe. And this one there, and there, and there. Okay. Then we can bridge these two together if you want to. So, like that. And then we're gonna go into the perspective view again and shape everything because this is the part which actually the most yeah, difficult part the uh, modeling and, and mouth. Okay, let's go to the right view. This part should be a little bit more to the bottom back. So, we get this nice curve in there. So, that side, this will also be back. Same as this one. This one as well. And all, actually all these need to go a little bit worse. The back. Save. That looks a little bit better. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why we add this edge loop here. Uh, a to add more detail. And B because of the actual, actual muscles in the mouth. Or uh, uh, surrounding the mouth. As you can see here, uh, this one, this part here, pretty much, we want to mimic this part here. So it goes all the way around the mouth. Uh, this is help. Uh, this is what this will help you when you're smiling, for example, or when you say the the letter O. This will actually make that shape a lot easier to make. So let's keep on tweaking. Move this one even further down. Same goes for the chin. I'm gonna lower it. There you go. Let's move this one a little bit inside actually in this one as well. Okay. I'm gonna move these ones up for a reason actually, so I'm gonna move it to the right view again. What I wanna do is I wanna add one more edge loop here around the middle and all the way all the way up top because the, the the upper lip it has a very distinct, very sharp edge. Uh, if I can see if I can grab it somewhere. It creates this very hard edge around the uh, the upper lip, which uh, which is the distinction or the um, border, so to speak, between the lips and the actual skin. It's pretty sharp, so I want to add one more edge loop there, and I'm gonna 
do it here in the middle because it's a little bit easier. Actually, I'm gonna turn on the setting gear, edge flow. There you go. So we can tweak stuff a little bit better. So I'm gonna move these all the way up, all the way to the side, so we have a nice, nice volume there. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Now you actually have this shape in there, and the other ones. I'm gonna move these ones pretty close to the actual upper edge loop, and I'm gonna insert them a little bit inside the actual mouth, the uh, yeah, the mouth, so to speak. So what you get is a nice sharp edge around this part. Oh. It's nice and sharp. You can see there. Now it actually looks like lips or mouth in general. Okay, this is starting to look really good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start start fixing things. So I'm gonna insert edge loop here. So we have, have something to bridge. So I'm gonna grab this edge loop, this vertex here. I'm gonna make sure that they align each with each other. And then we can start bridging. So this one, bridge one, bridge. Now this part they have to make sure that they don't stick out. As you can see right now, they get this very awkward line here. So you make, need to make sure that they are roughly the same. So this one is sticking out. It's a little bit better. Okay. And then you can and then you can keep on extruding, extruding, or bridging and bridging. So let's do the same thing here with the chin. We might as well do it straight away. So this one here. Actually, I'm I'm gonna weld them together. A little bit easier. There you go. And then we need one more edge loop. But well, this one can go to that one. That's fine. Just have to move this one a little bit to the right so the flow is a little bit better. We need one here though. So I'm going to insert it. Oh crap. Wrong button. Edge loop here. And again, bridge. And one more time. Bridge. So what one thing to keep in mind, every, every time you bridge, you need to make sure that everything still looks okay. So you need to go in and change stuff. Like for example, you've got a massive bulge sticking out. I kind of don't want to have that. So first thing I'm going to turn this off again. So uh, just a simple tip. Every time you bridge something, go in and make sure that everything is still the way it should look like. Actually, I'm going to pull this one out so we get this massive chin. We really want a little bit further out, just like that. So we get a nice chin. It should be a little bit wider though, but we'll fix that. Let's do this one as well, straight away. Oh, wrong button. There we go. So now we can bridge these as well. And again, we need to fix this one because this one will probably fuck up really bad. Ah, actually, not that bad, but it should be here. There you go. A little bit to the front, let's make it wider. Let's actually make this entire part a little bit wider. Something like this. So we get this nice chin. Maybe a little bit too big, but yeah. We can fix that. Okay. Same here. So I just do bridge it. Check it. Annoying. Move it where needed. This one should be moved. Actually, I don't really like this line yet. It's not that smooth, not, not that fluid yet. So, there we go. Much better. And check it. It looks really weird right now. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll live. We'll live. Okay, I don't like this part though. Like the part where the mouth is sticking out a little bit, that looks a little bit weird. So I might want to go in there. And what I kind of want to do though is why is my mind not working anymore? There we go. I kind of want to have this one here, this edge loop here, overlap part here, so it actually looks something like like he has some some tissue, some fatty tissue as well. I'm gonna move this forward. This one as well, then this one as well. So you, you get a little bit more fat and that the mouth isn't sticking out that much anymore because that looks really weird. Let's move this one even further back. That works. Maybe this one as well. Let's see what it looks like when we do that. This one as well. It looks 
pretty okay. Let's move this one all the way forward. Just to see what it looks like. See, now, now you get this really nice fat flap almost. Fatty flap. But it looks kind of cool. So I might want to keep it. I'm gonna lower this one though. Because the, the line that it takes, I don't like it because it right now we have the, it ends here. But I kind of want it to end a little bit lower, so I'm like this probably. It just looks a li little bit more, I don't know, heavy weight. Okay. That's good. Let's save it. Let's check it. It's, it's, it still looks really weird, but but that's mainly because we can't fill this hole yet, because the actually the nose isn't finished yet. However, though, what we can do is grab this edge here. This one here is a little bit big, though. Let's make it a little bit smaller. This one there. And we can use this to start off with the um, go the cheekbones. So I'm going to extrude it, I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to rotate it so it follows this line here. And I'm just going to move it up a little bit higher maybe. Then again extrude and then I'm going to place it here. And I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, these ones will actually de determine the the dent that uh, that some people some people have in their cheeks, and if you do this correctly, it will look really good. And otherwise, it will look really stupid. But some people just figure out right. I'm gonna make the chin even more pronounced. This one a little bit lower, maybe. Yeah, that looks epic. That looks a lot better. And the rest will just tweak later on when the uh, the head is like complete. I might want to increase though a little bit in the nose bridge. I might want to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. I mean, so it just looks a little bit better. Let's see if that looks better. It does. It does look a little bit better. So, the nose. Let's finish the nose. Uh, the nose is a little bit of a, of a bitch, pardon my language. Uh, it's actually really annoying to to model the the, the for example the, the nostrils. It's actually really annoying. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just get the shape in there, the basic shape that we kind of want to have for the nose, and then and just see if we like it or not. First thing I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna add one more edge loop down the middle, and I'm gonna go all the way back here down the middle. A couple of reasons, well first off we can actually use this one really well for the volume in, in the nose because right now it's still a little bit, little bit flat and I kind of don't like that so I keep on making cameras. <laughs> I think I have like 80 different cameras right now in the scene. No. I'm going to lower this one so you get a little bit more of curvature in there. Same here so you actually get, you, so you can actually use it a little bit better. Let's do this one a little bit lower. I'm going to use this one here to get the, the nice nostrils something like this maybe, this one look like that Let's see what it looks like from the front, probably really fucked up ah, it's not that bad see it just looks a little bit more roundish right now I kinda wanna have this one, this one this one and next up it's just tweaking um, so you, so you get the shape of nose that you that you kind of want to have. I'm not quite sure yet what I want to have, but we'll just see. I kind of don't like the shape so far though, but okay. Let's do it like this for a second. It's starting to look a lot better. Okay, sweet. Though so this looks a bit creepy though. Nah, okay. Maybe even more. Then I'm gonna grab these faces here. You can even include this ones as well if you want to. Except for that one. Um, then I'm gonna hit extrude. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna scale them down. Maybe even further. So you have something that looks like a nostril. Move the way back. Even further, 
No, maybe a little bit higher. Okay. And then we can actually extrude them inward. Something like this. Now there are massive, massive nostrils. They're ridiculously big right now. Um, that looks really, really stupid. So let's not do that. Let's make them even smaller. This slice looks pretty okay though, but let's fix this straight away. Let's make them round again. It's just a lot, lot of tweaking involved when you when you do something like this. Then let's uh, extrude the inverse again one more time. It's scaled down by a lot. This looks a little bit better. You're probably still really big though. Yeah, they are. But it's fine because we could just tweak that. And uh, what you can do. Well, first off, let's do like this. Let's first off grab these. I'm just gonna make the selection bigger. So we have just just the nose on the screen. So it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay. And here we go. Now it's just nothing but tweaking, so you actually like it. Let's go to the bottom for a second as well. Uh. Let's insert one more edge loop here. Actually, let's not do that yet. I'm just gonna delete these, these faces here for a second, make my life a little bit easier. There we go. Oh, too many. Decisions and the sun look pretty okay. Still really big though, but I can live with that for now. Again, this is just about getting the shape, the basic shape in there that, that we, we want to use, and not the full fledged finished nose. Getting there, let's go to this right view one more time. I kind of want this one to be a little bit lower. There you go. It's still really big though. We can fix it though by inserting X loop here. This will make them a lot smaller. As you can see, but it's also a little bit more annoying. So we just have to tweak a little bit more. I'm gonna make it even smaller. So let's see what it looks like now when we hit three. Looks pretty okay, but the actual shape, the nostrils is still not perfect yet. So we need to grab this one, for example, and move it out. Maybe let's make this part even smaller actually. The nose itself is pretty damn big. Mm, this one looks pretty okay. Like actual nose, still big though, but it's fine for now. Let's just move on and let's start finishing this part over here. So now we have a edge loop or a edge that we can bridge it again. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm not gonna follow it again the flow of it, and now we got this nice and closed. Perfect. So we got this edge here that, that we kind of want to use though so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this edge to actually go around and create this very hard edge around the bottom of the nose I'm going to lower this one a little bit more though so there you go so 
I'm gonna use so I'm gonna use this edge here. This one. Because this S tube isn't actually an X tube. It goes all the way around and creates a bit of a spiral. So I kinda wanna end it as soon as possible. I'm gonna do just that. So I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna rotate it around like this. And again. And again. And then the last part we can just bridge it. There you go. Well that oh, wrong one. There, this one should be there, and you should be there. Okay, let's make sure that this aligns properly, ish, or as close as possible at least. I don't like this one though. Okay. Then insert edge tube again as usual. And bridge it. This part here also finishes the nose. Right now it actually looks like a nose with the actual nostrils that look pretty okay right now. Not great, but that's something for the tweaking phase. Okay, now we got a bunch of extra edge tubes that we need to attach to the face slash mouth which will be a little bit tricky so we got this one here um, it's very tempting to do it like this it's very tempting um, it might work but then you get a very weird edge loop then you get it, it that it, it goes across the actual nose so we kinda don't want to do that though so what I can do though is lower these ones and pretty much make space. And then we can use this one again to actually continue it around there. Which is exactly what I kind of want to do. So we have this nice edge loop going all the way around your mouth again. This one there. Then we need an edge loop here. There you go. And then target build. There you go. Okay. That solves one issue. Ish. Of course, need to make sure that everything looks okay again. It's really extreme though, but that's fine. I'm gonna delete this one for a second. Okay, and now I'm just gonna be lazy. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna select them all, and I'm gonna just gonna hit fill hole. There you go. So we can actually think about it. What the hell we're going to do next? First of all, I'm gonna align these properly so they actually follow the edge flow again. So this one should be there. For example, this one should be there. Okay, we got a. You can do this for example, this one here. But then you get a really big face here. It's not necessarily bad, but you kind of want to avoid that if possible, at least. Then we have two of them here. And um, this is not perfect. But what you can do is I'm gonna make this one a bit different. So I'm gonna do it like this. And then I'm gonna leave this one and this one. Then I'm gonna grab this part here. I'm gonna create a corner here, which we can use because you have a bit of, of a um, well a dent here at the mouth. So it actually this does just that. A bit inwards, so it's really clear. There you go. There you go pretty big though but it's fine we can fix that let's move this one a little bit forward so I actually match the one here actually it's the other way around but okay so now we just need to do one so I'm gonna insert a stop here it's just in the mouth then I'm gonna test this one there Closed. Now it's just again fixing the edge flow. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more fluid, maybe even straight ish, something like this. Same here. I'm still not really fond of this one though, but 
I might just do it a little bit differently, so I might just do it like this. And insert it up here. Yeah, this little bit looks a little bit better. I don't mind this. Okay. It's not look pretty okay right now. I said actually. This part here still looks really weird, but that's something we can fix. It's not bad. So let's move on. So now we got this part over here. So I'm gonna add two edge loops here. So one here and one here, so we can bridge this or weld it. Let's just weld it. Like that, then we can actually bridge this part here. We can just bridge it. Also, make sure again that the flow is still intact. So, right now it's not really. So, I'm going to do it like this. Then we can also bridge this one here and these two. Now, this part is pretty much almost closed already. So, I'm going to keep on tweaking the edge flow here. Something like this, maybe. A little bit higher, for example. Then we can this one as well so I'm gonna grab this one and this one perfect then we need one edge loop here in between so we can actually bridge this one then we just have one left it looks probably looks really bad but I'm not gonna check for now so let's keep on going so we got a little bit of an issue right here right now because we need one more edge loop around here. So I probably need to reroute some edge loops here. But first thing I'm gonna do is though is just fill this hole. Oh, not like that. Fill this hole like that. Now you pretty much have a complete face, almost. Still looks awful. Oh, no, not necessarily awful, but it doesn't look very heroic <laughs> at all. So we might want to change a little couple of things. First thing though, let's just check the edge flow here no first thing I'm doing is going to finish this one here so I'm going to keep on I'm going to continue it like that and then like this you can see right now it's very blocky right it's very very straight you really don't want to have that so what we're going to do is just fix things first thing though I'm going to make everything nice and fluid Then we might just give him a neck so it looks a little bit easier. A bit easier to, to, to read the character itself. This is the part that's actually really hard to pinpoint on what to do properly. Because it's, it's, it's more of experience. To be honest, then just the the knowing, this is just doing a bunch of times, then realizing like oh, so that's how you do it. Uh, but the key here is just to make sure that every line follows a nice curve, or at least tries to follow a, ni a nice curve, so everything is nice and fluid. If if you keep that in mind, you should be able to, to get a, a long way. And just keep on looking and ex inspecting the actual the the face to see if everything is still correct. Um, this part here is pretty nice though, because um, the faces, the size of faces, uh, it's really different. Some of them are really small, other ones are really big. So I'm going to insert an edge loop here. A couple of reasons for that actually. Uh, it, uh, it also gives me a bit more control over the volumes in this part here. So I actually really like it. I don't mind it. So I'm going to maybe even change the shape of the, shape of the nose if you want to. But you can see here you get a bit, bit more control now, right now over. How the sport behaves. Which is what you want to have, of course. You want to have control. Let's see what it looks like. Probably looks a little bit better. It does. 
One thing though, I'm, I'm really missing right now are cheekbones. I'm gonna make them. I'm just gonna grab the vertex here. I'm gonna pull it out, and voila, your cheekbones. <laughs> bit dirty, but you get the idea, right? So I'm gonna move it a little bit more. Yeah, it's starting to work out pretty well. This one's well then. Not too much. Something like this. This one as well. Maybe this one as well. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Now you can actually see here that the, that the guy actually has cheekbones. It's perfect. I just want a little bit bigger though. There it is. It's starting to pretty much come together right now. Um, let's see. This should be fixed. This part here as well it should be a little bit lower. A little bit tighter, there we go. If you want to, you can add an edge loop here as well. But first thing I'm going to do is add one right there. Again, because of the, the size of the faces, these faces are very big compared to these ones, so I'm going to add one more in between. So it pretty much divides them and cuts them up. And again, like last time, it gives me more control over the shape. Which is what I want to have. You, and we can do the same thing here though. I'm going to add, add one there as well, in a bit. History. And once we have everything in place, we'll uh, make him look, look a bit more heroic. But for now, it's just about basic stuff: getting it in there, getting it, getting it to work. Most importantly. That's pretty okay. So let's add one here, here as well then, like that. Which we can use again. So, same story. Small adjustments, we just keep on tweaking it. Let's do the same here. Actually, I kind of really don't like this part here. It just flows really badly, so I'm gonna see if I can fix that. suppose I should fix these though <laughs> kind of forgot A little bit more, like a shit ton more to the right. There you go. Jawline still not pretty though, but so it feels very choppy. But ah, that explains a lot. There you go. Next thing I want to do this one a little bit more to the outside. Or a stronger jawline. Let's not overdo it though. But yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Cool. Okay, let's just leave this for now for a minute and then we'll, we'll continue with this part over here. So, first thing I always start off with is the, this one here. The top one, the highest edge of the. Uh, eye socket and what I want to do is I want to grab it 
and I'm gonna extrude. I'm gonna make it turn this way and, f and end up with this part over here, this edge there. So again, as usual, I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna roughly find the shape that I want it to be. So it's something like this, maybe very roughly first, and end up there. So then, I soup there straight away actually. So we can start. Chasing stuff, so this one should be there, this one should be there. Okay, let's go to the front view. I want this one a little bit more to the right, so we get this nice shape in there. A little bit lower, a little bit higher. Now it actually starts feeling like a actual skull. There you go. Same goes for this one still, you could, but again, I'm gonna be lazy. So what I'm not going to do, I'm just going to fill the hole again. First thing, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Still, not, it's still very dirty. Still not perfect. There you go. Let's fill the, fill the hole here really quick. And then we can, just with the multi cut tool, we can start adding stuff. So, first one, I'm going to add probably this one to, let's do the one in the middle right there. So, we can cut here and cut here. There you go. And you kind of want to follow this shape here because that's the idea or the, the curvature of the skull. So, you kind of want to have this one in here as well. Let's check the front view. I'm gonna make this one a little bit to the side. And this dent, I kind of want to keep it. As you can see here, maybe it's maybe it's a bit too much, too much, but we'll see that in a bit. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, but that's fine. Let's keep it for now. And then the one to the right, these ones here, we're just gonna make them go that way, like that way. I'm gonna do them all except for the last part because because we, we need to add more edge loops there. So I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier. Let's grab the vertex here and move it up. There you go. A little bit too much here, but it's fine. So this part here, um, I kind of want to uh, bridge this one to that one. These two, so I need the edge loop there. Oh, should pick the wrong button. This one. Also make sure that you fix it, especially this part here, it should be nice and round. There you go. So now we can pitch this one to that one. And I'm going to leave this one here for now. Show sure what it looks like. Yeah, looks pretty okay for now. I almost want a little bit more inside though. What we're going to do next is grab this vertex here and pull it all the way out so you get this very strong um, eyebrow let's merge these let's bridge these and again I'm gonna go for the fill hole option fill hole and I'm gonna cut this one all the way up to there and then this one, there we go. And now we should fix the dents, there are a bunch of them. So this one, I'm gonna move this one a little bit, almost the same height as this one. Because then you get a very nice eyebrow. You can go in further, you can actually lower this one as well, for example. They get the, the very angry look. So this one a little bit lower. There you go. What, I, what I'm looking for right now is just dents in the skull, because that looks a little bit weird. So this one I'm looking for right now, and then we're gonna go in, and again fix the edge flow. It's pretty okay. Go to the top. It's it's very easy to for, forget this 
viewport. But you don't want to, so keep that in mind. You, that you should always check the top view as well. Should be a little bit rounder, this. There you go. Helpline, huh? There you go. Cool. Getting there, let's fix this last part here. Okay, I'm gonna do fill hole. I'm gonna my edge loop tool, I'm gonna check insert with edge flow. Save me a bunch of time and then I'm just gonna multi cut this together and done. Yeah, we're getting there. Some features are a little bit too much, like the cheekbones are a little bit too much, as it is right now. I kind of want to have them a little, not that big. Maybe I'll just use, uh, let's just try this one. Gonna push these ones in. I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty much okay. Just really extreme though. But there you go. Okay, looks pretty nice. Now it's pretty much just tweaking and tweaking so we actually get it to be perfect to what we wanted want it to be. Let's use this one a little bit higher, this one a little bit lower. Okay, I'm gonna go in and fix the shape over here. It looks really, really nasty. Oh, that's annoying. Like that. Oh, yeah. There you go. So I'm just pushing these back so we get a little bit more of a of a nose ridge because right now it's, it was really flat. It still is actually. This part here, we should really fix that. So I'm gonna move them even further in. These ones as well. So I have a bit more of a pr pronounced nose ridge. Make this one a little bit smaller. That looks better. Okay, so the basic features are in there right now. I kind of like it. It's, it's not done yet, not even close, but it's getting there. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the mouth. I'm gonna grab this part over here. The hope this edge loop. Make one a little bigger, and then I'm gonna hide everything, and then I'm just gonna extrude it inward. And that's it. So, extrude. And in. So you can see, of course. So you actually get this nice, soft sort of lips. And then you can start tweaking them again by moving these ones down, for example, and, and closing the gap when it's moved, like this. Because we put these ones, I'm just going to do this right now. Maybe I want to move this one a little bit more down, down, so a little bit bigger lower lip. Now it's just be testing. That looks weird. What I'm what I might want to do though is uh, put a, put a little bit more emphasis on the chin, like with the Hulk. 
you can see here it has a very, very distinct chin so I might want to do that as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cut tool and I'm going to cut around here around the chin area something like this for example turn this into a corner and then you can use this one to make it a little bit more pronounced so you can use for example these first is uh, put, put them inwards so you get a very strong as you can see strong jawline Let's see what it looks like a little bit too much. Yeah, that's too much. Let's not do that. It's too much. Okay. Let's add a little bit more detail to everything. So I'm gonna add one more edge loop around the eyes, like the two. I wanna add one here. A bit higher, something like there ish, and one here. So we can add a bit more detail to it, which I kind of want to do. Uh, first one, this one, Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty okay already, actually. But the cool thing is, then you can use these ones, for example, to create that fatty tissue that's, that's hanging over the eyelids, like this, for example. Let's do Let's go even further, actually. Or these ones as well. It has a bit more volume to it. it. Looks a lot better. Also, this one here maybe a little bit lower. Let's just pull this one inside. Nope. Yeah, so I look pretty okay. Okay. Let's add one more here. So we get this very sharp ridge around the eyeballs. It's actually the correct way of doing it. Okay. Actually let's not do it yet. I'll do it when it's finished. Okay. Let's fix the nose first though, because I think the main biggest problem right now is the nose. It just doesn't look very Epic, it just looks very weird. <laughs> Maybe it's too thin. Hmm. A little bit less, so like this. Let's also change a little bit more square. Also made this one a little bit bigger. That looks a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to keep on tweaking this this uh, this head. Uh, and next time we're going to add the back side of the head, and then we're going to start on the body itself. So I hope I will see you guys again next time.